Hey everyone, this is D Keys. I've been getting lots of questions about what I think about Tempest, an elementalist for Heart of Thorns, so I figured I'd take a few minutes to just go over my impressions of Tempest from the beta weekends, particularly in dungeons, fractals, and even a bit of open world. The traits for Tempest are, well, pretty unexciting. At the adept level, Gelsong is a pretty much boring version of Tempest Defense, and Latent Stamina fills the same role as Renewing Stamina in the Arcane line. Unstable Conduit gives you access to a Magnetic Aura no matter what weapon set you have, but you have to plan it about 4 seconds in advance, so good luck timing that for the attack that you want to reflect. At the Master level, you'll most likely use Harmonious Conduit for that 10% damage after an overload, according to that most recent dev post on Specialization. It will stack nicely with other damage modifiers to help buff that overload even more, but since Meteor Shower, Frostbow's Ice Storm, and Glyph of Storms persist for so long, it will only be mildly useful for Staff Ellies, though it might be a nice little boost for some other builds. Tempestuous Aria, with its two stacks of might that last for 10 seconds, hardly compete with a Blast Finisher. Earthen Proxy might be nice for hard fights and synergizes well with Warhorn and Overloads, but again, it won't really be a DPS increase, so you won't be taking it most of the time. The Grandmaster traits are all pretty unexciting. Element Bastion, as well as some of the other traits that we have access to with the Tempest build, isn't very strong in PvE, but could be very interesting for Aura builds. Again, Aura builds aren't really used for organized groups in PvE right now, but they can be pretty fun when roaming around by yourself because you can have easy access to fury and swiftness and even prot if traded correctly. So having a little bit more healing would help round out what Aura's can do even more. Impued Melodies may open up some strong might stacking builds with Warhorn and Lightning Hammer, should Failing Strength ever not be a thing, but I don't really see that happening. Finally, Lucid Singularity might have some niche uses in situations when you regularly get crippled or mobilized, but that doesn't happen in combat all too often with current content. The overloads look very interesting, but also very risky. Staying within range of an enemy means you may be within their cleave, and having to interrupt a channel with a dodge is a huge hit to your DPS, because overloads make up for that fact that Tempest lacks the base damage modifiers that other specialization lines have, such as fire and air especially. Overload fire previously was enough of a DPS buff that it made staff Tempest even stronger than current staff elementalist builds, but we'll have to see how much of a damage nerf that skill suffers before I can really give a good quantification on which will be better. Overload Air is also great for DPS, but using it would slow down the pace of fresh air rotation such as those used with Dagger Focus and Dagger Dagger. Overload Earth and Water could have some potential defensive uses, but again they are pretty risky without proper party support, so you may end up dying while you're trying to channel that heal. Warhorn is in an awkward spot for PvE. It doesn't have the defensive utility of Focus, nor does it have the burst of offhand dagger. It has strong coefficients, note those tooltip damage coefficients uh, are for only one hit and not for the total skill, but it still doesn't compare to the raw power of staff. I still think it could be used in rotations with overloads, of course, to do damage comparable with what's already out there right now but I don't really see a spot when you'd actually want to use a Warhorn in combat, unless, of course, Lightning Hammer builds ever came back into the meta, so then you could use that to lay down a fire field, blast some might, and then use the boon duration from the Warhorn trait with that Lightning Hammer. Of course, with that Warhorn boon replication even nerfed, the Warhorn still might have a spot in pre-fight might stacking and other boon stacking rituals and all those weapon swaps that we're so used to doing now. Shouts, while interesting, just don't shine as much as other utilities that elementalists have. It's really hard to beat that core of Arcane Brilliance, Signet of Fire, Arcane Wave, Frostbow, and Glyph of Storms. 
Of the non-elite shouts, I think Shock and Aftershock may be the most used because of its almost instant magnetic aura, but its cooldown is probably prohibitive in combat. Now that new version of Rebound, which will work kind of like a re preemptive war banner for a party-wide AED, should be a great thing to use in challenging content to help save your party from a wife. It will also be great when your ice elemental ends up getting wrecked because it's taking too much damage and can't really survive the aggro that it gets because it's a little bit tankier than your standard zerker. Overall, I think Tempest and Elementalist will see some use in Heart of Thorns, but I think a lot of people will be very excited to try out the other specializations and the new Revenant class, myself included, so we'll probably see more party variety than we do right now. I hope this helped answer some of your questions about whether Tempest may be useful in PvE, and I hope you all are looking forward to the next Vega weekend and Heart of Thorns as much as I am. Thanks for watching!